Hey guys, uh, it's the fall here in Pennsylvania and today we're transplanting strawberries. Um, that's really what we're focusing on today, getting a lot of these strawberry plants that I had dug up. Um, I dug these guys up and bundled them in about 25 plants per bundle and stuck them in the fridge for quite some time. Um, by putting them in the fridge and cutting off all the leaves, as you see here, I just took a, you know, my pruning shears and just sheared off the top of these plants. You know, here's an individual crown. By transplanting like this and putting them in the fridge, you can actually preserve the plants and extend their life in the fridge for quite some time so that when you're ready to, to transplant these um, in the fall, which it is right now, you can then transplant these in any location that you want. You can see here is some that I've already transplanted. And the key to transplanting or planting strawberries is to put them at the appropriate depth. Um, we're also putting them a foot apart because what's going to happen next year is that these are a June bearing variety and this June bearing variety um, will fruit for us at the end of May until all about the 1st of, June, uh, 1st of July. So once the 1st of July ends, these guys go into like a new mode and they start sending out runners and then the runners will take over this whole area, basically everything if you let it over time. But it's good to renovate your strawberry bed as well. And that's kind of what I'm doing now as well. I did that to the Mara de Bois de Neutral strawberry bed in the front of the house. And we essentially took out a lot of plants that were so close together and transplanted them to other parts of the bed. So if most of my strawberries, for example, are in this area, I then took a couple up out of the ground and maybe moved them over here so that we could then start having them spread out in this direction and kind of choosing where I want them to spread out. The key to transplanting them, guys, is again, to cut off all of the leaves. And that way, the transplanting shock is much less. Um, but I wanna show you guys a, a bed uh, actually back here, which is a June bearing bed, which I've done some renovations to quite recently. And that's actually what we're planting is the early glow strawberries. So this is also a June bearing early glow strawberry bed. And we did the reservation uh, renovations of this bed in the fall. And I don't really recommend doing this in the fall for production purposes. Again, you're supposed to do this as soon as the, the strawberry plants fruit and they're done fruiting, you thin them out and then they'll start sending out runners because they go into that mode, like I said, guys, and they'll start filling in the gaps that you essentially had created by pulling up strawberry plants. And then you can essentially um, always have a nice little production here of young strawberry plants. So that's kind of what we did, but we did it late. Uh, we did it in the fall. So this, this bed here is not gonna crop nearly as well as it did in the past. You know, I was getting bowls of strawberries just from this little area here in June and July. Um, you know, it really is a productive variety. So I wanted to keep this variety, but I also wanted to spread it out. So I figured in you know, me being so late with this project, at least instead of just throwing out the plants, I could dig them up and basically transplant them over there where we just were. And uh, that way I have more strawberry plants. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little one. Uh, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys love strawberries. I know for a fact a lot of you guys love strawberries, but my strawberry videos don't get a whole lot of attention and I don't get it because they are easily one of the most tasty, reliable, and productive fruits that I grow in this location. It probably is number one. Um, believe it or not So if you live near me and you're not growing strawberries, I don't know what you're doing But uh, yeah grow some strawberries, and I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll talk to you all later. Take care